Prime Minister Imran Khan, currently unjustly incarcerated for 282 days, has said he will write a letter to the controversial army chief Asim Munir. Mr. Munir is widely believed to be the de facto ruler of the country in Pakistan. Speaking to reporters who were inside the Adyala jail to cover another one of his trials, Mr. Khan lamented the current state of the economy while expressing his concern over the situation in the Azad Kashmir region. Additionally, Mr. Khan appealed to the courts to provide him with justice as his appeals against his convictions have been delayed for months now. A judge presiding over one of Imran Khan's cases has once again ordered medical checkups for Mr. Khan and his wife Busha Bibi. Pakistan Tariq Saf had expressed serious concern about Mr. Khan's health as he has not had any blood tests since he was arrested in August. Last month, Judge Jawed Rana of the Accountability Court had directed authorities to facilitate blood tests from Shokat Khanum, yet authorities have refused to follow the court's orders. Mr. Khan's wife, Busha Bibi's health, has seriously deteriorated since she was given chemical-laced food. Clashes between law enforcement officials and protesters continue in Azad Kashmir region for the fourth day as an assistant sub-inspector was killed and several protesters were injured during violent protests. Demonstrations are taking place against high electricity bills and taxes imposed by an illegal, unrepresentative government in the region. Markets, trade centers, offices, schools and restaurants remain closed due to the AAC's call for a shutdown and wheel jam strike against the state to protest the electricity price hike and taxes. The protests also present a strategic and security concern for Pakistan as the region borders Indian-occupied Kashmir. Peasant unions in Pakistan have announced a countrywide protest on May 21st against the wheat crisis, which they say has been deliberately created by the former caretaker prime minister and some bureaucrats. The unions are incensed by the influx of wheat imports during the latter half of 2023 and the initial months of 2024, which has led to an oversupply of wheat in the market and subsequent price reductions. The Pakistan Democratic Movement, PDM, a hand-picked coalition of parties controlled by the the army, then in power, made this decision in July 2023, merely a month before the conclusion of its caretaker governmental tenure. Egypt says it will formally join the case filed by South Africa against Israel at the International Court of Justice ICJ, which accuses Israel of violating its obligations under the Genocide Convention in its war on the Gaza Strip. The Egyptian Ministry of Foreign Affairs said on Sunday that Cairo intended to join the case due to escalating Israeli aggression against Palestinian civilians. South Africa brought its case against Israel in January, accusing the country of committing genocide against Palestinians in Gaza. The death toll from Israel's war on Gaza, which began in October, has surpassed 35,000 and most of them are women and children, according to the Palestinian authorities. Thank <laughs> you.